Picture this, a 300-foot tower crane swaying like a reed in 80-mile-an-hour winds, debris crashing around it. The operator gripping the controls with white knuckles, praying the structure holds. These are the unsung giants of construction, massive machines that lift steel and concrete into the sky, transforming our urban landscapes one load at a time. But what happens when nature decides to fight back with full force? Hurricanes tearing through coastal cities, earthquakes shattering foundations, howling storms battering everything in their path. These relentless forces don't care about engineering specifications or safety margins. Today, we're diving deep into the ultimate showdown that rarely makes headlines until disaster strikes. Cranes versus the raw power of the elements. Can these steel titans truly survive when nature unleashes its fury? Stick around because you'll witness one remarkable crane that defied a Category 4 hurricane against all odds and another that wasn't so lucky when the Earth itself betrayed it. This is Hard Hat Industries, and we're about to test the absolute limits of steel, engineering, and human grit. Massive cranes are the indispensable backbone of modern construction. Tower cranes reaching dizzying heights, crawler cranes navigating rough terrain, mobile giants that hoist tons of steel and concrete like they're nothing but children's toys. But here's the catch that keeps engineers and operators awake at night. They're tall. They're heavy. They're often stretched to their absolute maximum capacity. And they're typically exposed on the highest points of construction sites. That combination makes them prime targets when nature gets truly angry. Wind is the infamous killer in the industry. Most standard cranes are rated to operate safely in gusts up to 31 to 45 miles an hour before work must stop. When secured, they're built to endure much more. But push beyond that and you're rolling the dice with millions of dollars of equipment and potentially human lives. A single powerful gust can slam a crane's boom with over 100 tons of lateral force. Imagine 20 full-grown elephants suddenly swinging on a rope in perfect unison. The physics are merciless. Then there are earthquakes, violently shaking the ground out from under these precisely balanced machines. Or severe storms, flooding construction sites and turning what was solid base material into unstable mush within hours. Operators face split-second decisions with massive consequences. Lower the boom to reduce the wind profile, secure any suspended load immediately, or abandon ship entirely and hope the engineering holds. The stakes couldn't be higher. Millions in equipment damage, project delays costing thousands per day, or worst of all, lives lost when these behemoths come crashing down. These machines represent marvels of modern engineering, pushing the boundaries of what we can build. But the hard truth remains, they're not invincible against nature's full arsenal. To truly understand how they hold up when disaster strikes, we need to examine the real battles, dramatic moments when cranes faced the unbridled fury of nature head on, without warning or mercy. Let's start with a monster storm that pushed these construction giants to the absolute edge of their capabilities and beyond. October 2012, Hurricane Sandy, one of the most devastating superstorms in recent memory, slams into New York City with apocalyptic force. Wind speeds top 80 miles an hour across Manhattan double what most construction cranes are rated to withstand under operational conditions. Skyscrapers tremble, streets flood with brackish seawater, power grids fail across the region, and high above West 57th Street on a luxury high-rise project later known as 157, a tower crane stands alone in the chaotic maelstrom. This isn't just any ordinary crane, it's an engineering beast standing over 300 feet tall equipped with a massive 200-foot boom, specifically designed to lift 20 tons of construction materials like it's nothing more than a feather. But in this moment, this marvel of human ingenuity is reduced to a sitting duck, exposed to nature's wrath with nowhere to hide. Operators had evacuated earlier as the storm approached, leaving the crane secured but unattended. Down below, engineers and emergency crews can only watch as wind speeds spike well beyond safety limits, again double what most cranes are rated to handle during operations. The boom begins to sway visibly, 
five feet, then 10 feet in each direction. Movements clearly visible to terrified onlookers below. Down on the street, the city collectively holds its breath as news helicopters capture footage of the crane's dance with disaster. Just a block away on another construction site, another crane isn't nearly so fortunate. Its structural integrity fails catastrophically as it snaps near its base, dangling perilously over the street below. A twisted wreck of steel and cables threatening everything beneath it. What ultimately saved the 157 crane? Preparation? A bit of luck? Before the storm, the crew had secured it, allowing the boom to weather vane, freely rotating to face into the wind, slashing aerodynamic resistance. It's a standard move that paid off in a big way. During the storm, no one dared approach it. Applying mechanical strain mid-hurricane could have caused the whole thing to buckle. Against all odds, it held firm through Sandy's onslaught. The hurricane rages for endless hours, with wind gusts repeatedly hitting 90, even 95 miles an hour, battering the crane from every conceivable angle as the storm's eyewall passes. When the skies finally clear and the damage assessment begins, the crane remains standing, battered, damaged, but fundamentally upright and salvageable. Engineering teams later calculated that the structure endured forces vastly beyond its official rating, attributable to either pure luck, pure operator skill, or more likely, a combination of both. Either way, the 157 crane has since become something of an industry legend, a testament to the occasional victory of human engineering against nature's fury. But as we're about to see, not every crane engaged in these elemental battles gets such a happy ending. Let's travel halfway across the globe for a fight that didn't go nearly as well when Earth itself became the enemy. March 28, 2025, Bangkok, Thailand. A thriving city of high-rises is jolted by a 7.7 magnitude earthquake, its epicenter just 150 miles near the Thai-Myanmar border. As buildings sway and panic grips the streets, a 30-story office tower under construction in the Chatukchuk district collapses, bringing down with it a 200-foot tower crane anchored to its frame. The skeletal giant, designed to lift loads high above urban sites, secured to the building itself. It's built for precision and height, not to withstand the Earth's rebellion. When the quake strikes, the ground surges up to six feet in seconds. The crane load of 15-ton steel beam for the upper floors swings wildly, straining the tower's moorings. The operator battles to stabilize it, but the shaking defies control. His desperate radio calls for evacuation are cut short as the building beneath begins to give way. Liquefaction caused the soil to lose its strength, compromising the stability of the skyscraper's foundation. The structure that seemed so permanent just moments ago now twists like paper in the wind. As the building buckles, the crane's anchors rip free with a deafening screech of tearing metal. The cab, once commanding a view over Bangkok's sprawling cityscape, now plummets towards the ground. The crane topples into a cascade of steel, crashing into the rubble below with a sound that pierces through Bangkok's chaos, a thunderous knell that silences even the earthquake's roar. The operator falls with his machine, killed instantly. One of at least 19 confirmed deaths in the collapse. Rescue workers will spend three days combing through the debris, finding survivors in air pockets where concrete floor slabs created shelters by chance. The crane, valued at over $2 million, is a twisted wreck, part of a $50 million project reduced to debris in under 30 seconds. What's more devastating? Subsequent investigations point to substandard steel and poor foundation design. Flaws exposed by a quake Thailand's building codes didn't fully anticipate. Engineers later determined that while the crane itself met safety standards, its anchoring system was compromised by the building's structural vulnerabilities. It's a grim warning. Even cranes tethered to modern marvels can't survive when the ground and building fail together. As Bangkok rebuilds, new regulations emerge, stricter foundation requirements, enhanced seismic monitoring, and crane systems designed to detach safely during catastrophic building failures. But 
For the crane operator's family and colleagues, these changes come too late. So what does this mean for construction's future? Let's find out. So can construction cranes truly stand up to nature's most extreme challenges? The honest answer is complicated. Sometimes, under the right circumstances, with the right preparations and a healthy dose of luck. The Hurricane Sandy survivor we examined proved that quick, decisive action based on deep operational experience combined with admittedly fortunate wind patterns can occasionally allow these machines to defy seemingly impossible odds. But the Myanmar case just as clearly demonstrated that even the most robust, well-designed cranes have fundamental physical limits that cannot be overcome when facing certain types of natural forces. The engineering community hasn't remained static in response to these lessons. Modern crane designs increasingly incorporate sophisticated wind sensors, seismic dampers, automatic emergency shutdown systems, and real-time structural monitoring. Tower cranes in hurricane-prone regions now routinely get physically tied into the buildings they're constructing during storm seasons. The industry learns from each failure, each near miss, implementing incremental improvements with each generation of equipment. But here's the uncomfortable truth that every veteran operator knows. Nature doesn't play by engineering specifications or follow predictable patterns. A freak gust can suddenly hit 100 miles an hour out of nowhere during an otherwise moderate storm. An earthquake can turn seemingly solid earth into unpredictable liquid soup beneath the most carefully prepared foundations. All the computer modeling and theoretical calculations in the world can't fully account for nature's capacity for chaos. In many ways, the human operators remain the real heroes of this ongoing battle. Reading subtle changes in wind patterns, sensing unusual vibrations that might indicate ground instability, knowing precisely when to continue operations and when to shut everything down regardless of schedule pressures. Their experience and judgment often make the critical difference between a dramatic but ultimately safe weather event and a catastrophic failure. Here at Hard Hat Industries, we've witnessed these construction giants accomplish seemingly impossible lifting feats that transform our cities and infrastructure. But their ongoing battle against the elements remains perhaps their toughest, most unpredictable test. The next time you spot a tower crane piercing the skyline or a crawler crane reshaping the landscape, take a moment to consider this. It's not just an assembly of steel, cables, and hydraulics. It's a mechanical warrior, ingeniously designed to battle the elements while building our world. Hit that subscribe button if you want to see more stories of heavy machinery pushing the absolute limits of what's possible. What's the wildest crane story you've personally witnessed or heard about? Drop it in the comments section below. We might just feature it in our next deep dive video. Until next time, this is Hard Hat Industries, celebrating the machines and people that build our world against all odds.